Hey everybody, this is James Kingsley. Um, I'm going to talk to you real quickly about setting up a Google uh, spreadsheet to act as a database and a web application for us so that we can create leaderboards in our courseware and that can be used for Captivate, Storyline, Lectora, uh, whichever tool you choose, straight HTML5, uh, however you develop courses, you'll be able to use this spreadsheet as the back end to track user scores and to uh, create a leaderboard in the top 10. Um, I've done most of the work for you. This is just going to walk you through setting it up. We'll get into some of the finer details later. So uh, for those of you that don't know, um, Google has uh, something they call AppScript, which is a lot like JavaScript and it can be used for a lot of their platforms. Uh, we're looking at Google Sheets, but you can use it for Google Docs and uh, Google Maps and Google Forms and all kinds of other uh, of their applications. Like I said, it's a lot like JavaScript. And so we're gonna use it to set up our spreadsheet as a, a, a leaderboard sort of database for us and turn that spreadsheet into a web app. So I'm gonna get started. I'm logged into Google already and I have my Google Drive open. So now I'm going to create a new Google Sheet and that takes just a minute to, to fire up. And I'll go ahead and give it a name. So let's say this is for my uh, game four. And you see that it automatically saves uh, everything for you in Google already. Um, really, that's all we need to do to the spreadsheet at this time because my code is going to do the rest for us. So let's take a look at how to add that code to it. We're going to go to Tools, Script Editor. And that's going to open up the Google Apps Script uh, editing environment. And this is where you can create all your code for Google Apps. Uh, you see it, it fills in a default function there. Uh, we're not going to need that, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And what I do have is I have... Uh, the Google Apps script that's already written out, and this will be in the, the package that you download from the blog post where this uh, will be hosted. And so I'm just going to copy all that, Control A, Control C, come over here and paste it in. Uh, I'm not going to get into uh, all the code for this video. We might talk about that in another blog post or, or video later. Um, now that we have it in there, we have really two things that we need to do to get this up and running. We're going to run setup on there where it's going to do a little housekeeping for us and then we're going to publish it as a web app. So the first step is to run the setup and you see right here it tells us click run setup. So, uh, oh wait, the first step would be to save it. So let me save it first. And I'll give it a name I'll say this is the game for leaderboard. There we go. And uh, now, once that's saved, I'm gonna go ahead and run setup. So run, setup. Now it's gonna pop up and say, hey, you're creating more than just a spreadsheet now, you're creating a, an application and you need to authorize it. So we'll say okay. And it's gonna tell us that it, it needs permission to manage our spreadsheet and manage the data on our spreadsheet. And that's exactly what we want to do. We'll allow that. And there we go, that's all set up. Um, it ran a couple of things in the background to uh, create some, some uh, functionality that we're gonna need. And it also, if you come back and look at the spreadsheet, it created some headers along the top for us there. So now we got it set up. We're going to uh, run it, I'm sorry, we're going to deploy it as a web app. And so we're gonna go to publish, deploy as web app. And here you can fill in what's changed for this version. They, they let you version it so that if you make updates to it, you can put in there, you know, what, what you change between the different versions there. This is the first version, so it's a new one. And we want the application to execute as myself because I'm the one that granted permissions to it, so I need it to run as me. And then who has access to the app? And it's not gonna do us any good if I'm the only person that has access to it. 
If we say anyone, then that means they're going to need a, a Google ID or a login or something to access it, and that's not really going to work for us either. So we need anyone, even anonymous. So that means that anybody will be able to access the app. Now, the code that we've written is extremely specific to just post a little bit of data and get back a little bit of data. And all we're tracking is a, a user uh, gamer tag and their score. So uh, I'm not too worried about uh, the security on that. So I'm going to hit deploy. Once it's deployed, you'll get a URL to your app. And you need to save this because we're going to put it into the JavaScript that we're going to use in the courseware to send and receive the data. Uh, so I'm going to select it all and copy it. And I'm going to go ahead and come over to my JavaScript. And this will be in the package that you download as well. And I'll paste it in here just before I forget. All these instructions are going to be uh, in the package as well. But the video just really helps a lot to help understand what's going on. All right, so I just put that there for later. I'll come back here and I say, okay, and that's it, it's done. We can close this out and move on to the next section. Uh, I'll see you guys and gals in the next video, thanks.